What's up everybody, Jake Blickenstaff, Associate Broker with Virtual Properties Realty, coming at you in another video. So today, got a special treat for you. Uh, out here in Oconee County, they have a new development coming in, it's called Wire Park. If you haven't heard about it, or even if you have, I'm going to give you guys the opportunity, kind of a behind the scenes tour. And one of the cool things is, is you don't have to be like in real estate or construction or anything like that. Every Tuesday at noon, you can come get kind of a behind the scenes tour, very similar to what I'm gonna show you today. So uh, let's go check it out and see what Wire Park is gonna be all about. The building that you see right here to the right is gonna be a state of the art, 25,000 square foot building that was donated to the county, becoming the new Oconee County Library. And in the center, as you walk up to uh, Wire Park, this is gonna be the section where there's gonna be a band in the middle, everybody can gather, bring food, whatever else and hang out right here in the, the grass section. Now as we look back towards Barnett Shoals Road, they're going to wind up finishing up in the middle of this section with grass. On the right, you're going to have a unit of 28 condos along with the same 28 condos on the left as well. Now unfortunately, these properties aren't going to have any amenities. The amenity or the main feature is that you're going to have a condo at wire park. There's also plans to have 21 townhomes on the front right portion of the property and 54 single family homes on the back portion of it. With totaling 900 parking spots available for everybody to be able to use. Now getting into the main section of the building on the front, you're gonna have Cantina, which is supposed to be an upscale Latin restaurant. And inside this portion of the building is gonna be what their food court is called the grid. Each one of these holes is gonna have their own separate food vendors. The Fifth Body Boot Camp is already open and available for everybody to use. They have a 5 a.m. class. If you're interested, go sign up. Some of the other stores are going to be a coffee shop, Scoop Ice Cream Parlor, the Athens Running Store or Running Company. And while you're walking around with drinks or food, you can come check out Inspired Closets. They're going to have a state-of-the-art facility where you can basically redesign, retrofit uh, butler's pantries, closets, all sorts of other things inside your kitchen. So you definitely don't want to check out this space. They have a bunch of amazing, unique kind of art and design characteristics that you'll see inside. Now, if you haven't seen some of these yet, these are all uh, graphically rendered designs, conceptualized as to what Wire Park will look like in its entirety once it's completed. So you guys can go look at these on uh, Wire Park's Instagram, but this will give you kind of a, a finished overview. And here's some of the uh, condos once they're finished. They got some uh, amazing, amazing looks and feels to it. Um, I highly recommend if you guys haven't been out there for a tour on a Tuesday at noon to definitely check it out. It's very insightful. And I think this is going to be a welcomed addition to the Oconee County area. Now, last but not least, we have the yard. So this is going to be a, once again, state-of-the-art, $3 million uh, cost to put this indoor baseball and batting facility in place. Uh, multiple different stages for practice, whether it's pitching, hitting, uh, slow pitch, soft pitch, and indoor field. Core Blend also has a facility within the yard as well and they have an upper deck section where you can uh, watch and hang out if you have somebody downstairs uh, overlooking while you're playing.